Hey there, I have a super special recipe for you today. Ice cream, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And this ice cream is super special because it's roasted peach, fig, and toasted pecan. Mmm, oh, it's so good, oh my god. I'm gonna show you how to make it and you'll see how easy it actually is. For this beautiful ice cream, we're gonna need some fresh ripe figs, some fresh and ripe peaches, some pecans, my favorite nuts, full fat coconut milk, and raw cane sugar, yum. So we're gonna start by chopping up our fruit. We can do it in halves or, actually, yeah, let's keep it halves. And just chop up all those figs. We're gonna roast these, so that's why I'm putting them in this dish. We don't need the pieces to be too small, so keep them nice and chunky. There we go. Now we can add some coconut milk, I mean coconut oil, <laughs> to help it cook. Toss that up, and we're gonna roast this at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Make sure it's all evenly spread out too. We also need to toast our pecans, and they can go in there with our fruits. So spread those on your baking dish, and stick them in for about seven minutes till they're nice and toasty. Great, now we can work on our coconut milk base. So that's full fat coconut milk, nice and creamy. You make sure it's full fat. If you don't like coconut, use cashew milk. You're gonna add some sugar to that, stir it in, so that everything is dissolving. That's why we've got over the heat. And we want to bring this up to about 160 degrees, as you see there. Great, and now we can remove it from our heat and add some vanilla. Stir that in. And we can pour it into our glass dish. So this is gonna stay in the refrigerator overnight or at least eight hours to chill before we can add it to our ice cream maker. Beautiful. Stick that in the fridge. Make sure you don't burn yourself. That's why I'm using this um, cloth, because it's really, really hot. All right, let's take out our fruit. I already took out the pecans. Doesn't that look pretty? It's so bright. Oh, it's so delicious, I swear. So give that a stir, make sure it's not sticking. We're gonna pour this into our food processor and we're gonna pulse it and blend it. And I've saved a little bit of the coconut milk to help it blend. That's just a quarter of a cup. And we want it to be a chunky puree. So a couple pulses is good. Beautiful, beautiful. See that texture? It's nice and creamy. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, it's sweet also because you know the, the fruit is fresh and when you roast it, it brings out more sweetness. We need this to chill also, so I'm gonna pour this into another glass dish and we're going to keep it in the refrigerator again for at least eight hours, but I'm gonna do overnight. Perfect. All right, it's the next day and I'm gonna make my ice cream. So I have this already frozen um, ice cream container or freezer container. You gotta make sure it's frozen uh, for it to work properly. And just get your ice cream maker all set up. I have this Cuisinart one, which is you know pretty basic. It works very well. You need to have the ice cream maker on before you pour in the contents. So turn it on and start by pouring in your coconut milk base which is super creamy. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to eat this ice cream. And then you can add in your fruit, which has thickened considerably overnight. Wow. And I just like to go in there to break up that fruit since it is super thick. And I'm gonna let it do, it's gonna do its thing for, you know, like 20 minutes. It doesn't even take that long. Fabulous. So we're gonna take that out. See, it's nice and frozen, but I also, I want it to 
to firm up even more because now it's sort of like soft serve consistency. I like mine just a little bit more firm. So pour it into a, uh, a freezer safe dish. Oh, I forgot my pecans. We better add the pecans, right? That's very important. So chop those up and, and stir them in. You can also, you're supposed, I meant to add them to the ice cream maker, but you know, I forgot. So let's stir it with a, with a spoon. And then we're gonna let this stay in the freezer for two hours to firm up. Ugh, it's already delicious. Can't wait. <laughs> All right guys, so now it's out of the freezer. It's two hours later and I am totally ready to eat this ice cream because it is beautiful. Oh, yum. And there you have it, beautiful, easy ice cream. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I had so much fun making that ice cream. It's crazy. And I wanna thank you for requesting that video. You know, over the summer, that's the number one video request that I got. So if you have any other ideas for things that you would love to see me make or in sweet potato soul, just let me know because I would love to make those recipes for you. And again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and sharing the videos and commenting. I love all of you guys and I just love to hear from you so much. And as always, if you need anything, if you want some recipes throughout the week, whether it be breakfast or dessert or raw food or, or, or smoothies, Visit my blog, sweetpotatosoul.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.